So I decided to test the ICP lab test kits to see how accurate they are. I think you'll find the results shocking. I did. Okay, this is the first ICP test. This is where the, the vanadium was uh, quite high. Um, you can see it's in red there. Uh, there's some other trace elements that were low. Otherwise, the test wasn't bad. Uh, the nitrates were reading zero, which isn't great. Um, so this was the first test. Uh, I did a big water change after this test because of that reading. Um, and I'll show you the second test I did about three weeks later. Okay. This was the test I did uh, three weeks later, and as you can see, things have changed. The vanadium is now zero, three weeks later, zero, from being way too high. And I've only done one water change. Um, so zero doesn't make sense to me. Now the iodine is way too high, as you can see, and the manganese is way too high. And I mean way too high, and this is only three weeks later, and um, it's not like I'm I'm doing anything to the tank that would explain this. So uh, right away, some alarm bells went off for me um, as these two tests were completely different. And um, yeah, we're reading a little bit of phosphates here. It, the two tests were completely different in such a short time frame. So a little bit suspicious. Um, so what I did is I purchased a test kit from a different lab from Germany. Um, from my LFS and I'm going to show you the test results I got from that and that water sample was taken within uh, About two days of this water sample. Okay, the layout from these tests are a little different and they also test your RO water Which I kind of like um, our water here is really great anyway, so I, It's just nice to know your RO water is good, which it is um, But they, they calculate a little different um, these are the the calculations for the end um, but let's have a look at the test results. I think you'll find them as shocking as I did uh, because these are literally within hours, within 48 hours of the last test, the ICP test. So let's go down and find iodine right here. Huh, lo and behold, there's iodine right here and it's within range. Yet the other ICP test within 48 hours said the iodine was way over range to an alarming level that something needed to be done immediately about it. Hmm. Okay. Let's go find, um, manganese. Here's manganese. Um, the last test that we just did within 48 hours said our manganese was way above levels, uh, acceptable for the reef tank and needed to be reduced immediately. Actually, there was a take action item. And here we're actually, undetectable so oh okay within 48 hours I, I find that quite concerning um, if you look at this test uh, everything's within range the vanadium which my first test said I was way high on and then the second test said was zero which is why I started double checking these tests to begin with is undetectable which makes sense um, and then my nutrients are low, which I struggle with. Um, this is not good. Uh, I, I do struggle with my nutrients, trying to get them up. Um, but everything else was within range. So, <laughs> which test is wrong, which is right? Obviously the one, my assumption would be the test that we, that we just did is correct. This one from Germany. And the one uh, that I got at my LFS uh, ICP test that I had done two tests on that had some alarming results were wrong, is what I'm going to assume at this point. So, I don't know. I just sort of, uh, I didn't expect that. Um, you kind of expect your ICP test to, especially when you pay as much as you do for these tests, you expect them to be accurate. Um, so, quite shocking to find that, that those tests are as different as they are. So buyer beware i guess okay guys well that's a wrap for this video um i just wanted to share my experience with these tests and uh 
the, the shocking results that they're not as accurate as I would have guessed them to be. I guess I'm just naive, maybe uh, with the money we spend on these, uh, you would think they'd be more accurate than that. Anyways, um, if you'd like to comment on your experience with the ICP test, go ahead below. I'd be really interested to hear what you guys have to say. See you guys in the next one.